Hey, I'm Joe DiGiulio back with another quick lesson. This time, we're going to talk about drying retarder. Medium number one by Matisse. Drying retarder, you use 5% with any of your paint film. What it does, it extends the open time of the paint. By that, I mean the paint will take that much longer to dry. So for you oil color painters that want to try acrylics because of maybe issues with having allergies to turpentines and the smells and things like that, you can move over to oils but apply 5% of the drying medium to your paint film. What that's going to do, it allows it to be able to blend and stay open wet longer. I'm just going to actually use a brush, drip on a few drops. It's not going to really affect how the paint film is, it's just it's going to lend itself to blendability. Now this is very important when you're trying to attempt portraiture with acrylics because acrylics are so dry so quickly and have such a short time of being wet, you need something to be able to blend that color from one to the other. And that's exactly what the drying medium is going to do. A little open time goes a long ways. Now, of course, I'll add a little water to it, or I might add some of this to my acrylic painting medium. This is just going to allow it to be able to blend and take a longer time before it dries. Again, just a little bit, 5%. You don't have to be a scientist about it. Get it close. Believe me, the medium police will not come in and shut you down. I'm just taking. Now you see, because I'm using translucent colors, I can create these terrific color washes or these tertiary colors, that harmonious combination of two other colors together because I have that open blending time. Normally now, especially when working on paper, because of the absorbent qualities of paper, the paint would actually just get sucked right in like a sponge. But because we've used the retarder, it's actually going to let it be able to stay wet longer so that we can go back in and blend that third harmonious color out of them. I'm going to add a little bit of water just to keep it wet. And of course, you know me, I like to use a little pencil when I'm creating something. So a little graphite makes it fun. I love these woodless graphite pencils too. So I'll add this along with my color and the drying medium. It's exactly what it says. Retards drying, slows the drying process down. Add a little bit of that to your paint, leave it open. Especially if you were, oh, a great tip is put drying medium in all your paints if you're out like at the beach and you're trying to do plain air painting in the summer. Something like that where you're out in the elements and it's going to be hot absolute must to have that, re that drying retarder in there to extend that time or you're going to have just you know a palette full of wet dry color and you're not going to be able to apply anything you'll spend your whole day doing that so a lot more forgiveness with paper but you see I can still come right back in where I originally had that and blend that color right in kind of homogenizes things if you will and I know that if you're an oil painter out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hmm. I'm getting a brilliant Rothko going on here. A little bit of color. A little bit of blending. And I'm not soaking the paper. I mean, if I wanted to soak the paper, I could come back in here with a spray and lift some color out. But with a drying retarder in there, you see I actually can 
keep moving that color around. It's not embedded itself and dried. Great fields of color, drying retarder, mixed with some surface tension breaker, and some of the other great mediums that Matisse offers can give you a wealth of possibilities in your creative efforts. I mean, loosen up, have fun, use the right products and get the job done. You can do it, all you have to do is apply yourself. Trying retarder keeps things flowing. So next time you're checking it out, you wanna work maybe plain air, or you're gonna be working on paper and you don't want the absorbent qualities to be an issue, try a little 5% drying retarder with your paint. I'm Joe DiGiulio, thanks for stopping in for this quick lesson. See ya.